Okay, welcome back, everyone. Now we know what the convincing case for coffee is. So it seems like uh, loving coffee is on a scale. On this end, people are really against coffee, and then on this side, people are really loving coffee. And so on the negative side, people are worried that because coffee is a stimulant, that it should be regulated because of the caffeine content in coffee. Uh, they think that it's too high for some people to handle, and maybe government regulation sh should be happening. Uh, whereas on the other side, the author of the original article says that he has a little brother that manages to drink 20 cups of coffee a day. Oh my God. Shocking. <laughs> I've never heard anything like that before. But if you are in the middle of the scale and you just enjoy coffee, <laughs> yes, we are in the middle. Uh, it seems like there are some decent health benefits. So, uh, First of all, coffee is an anti or has many antioxidants inside of it, which is obviously really good for cleansing your body of free radicals and things like that and helping to prevent aging a little bit. And so it also, if you drink it in a moderate amount, it also has cardiovascular benefits. Good. So they think that if you drink like a moderate amount of coffee, like you're not drinking to excess, it can actually lower the risk of heart disease, which is really interesting. Oh. I don't know how they test these things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so because of that, it also lowers inflammation as well. So it's really good at curing, inf or not curing, but kind of improving mm -hmm. inflammation in the body. And so it seems as though maybe a cup or two of coffee a day actually has way more health benefits. We should have drank some before maybe. the shoot. <laughs> Let's go after. Yeah. <laughs> So we can uh, enjoy coffee in a moderate amount and see a lot of health benefits. Uh, whereas on the other side of the spectrum, if you drink it too much, people are concerned that it makes you yeah, shaky. <laughs> jitters. Yeah, the stimulants in it, the caffeine in it can often lead to body tremors, I guess. And so I guess the moral of the story is enjoy everything in moderation, including coffee. Mm. Even if you are very tired, maybe try to get some more sleep instead of drinking more cups of coffee yeah. per day. At max five. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there should be a limit. Right? Yeah, right. I think so. They think that maybe five and under is the key the key amount to drink, but I think that even five cups of coffee a day, mm. I would be vibrating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One or two is enough for me, I think. So thinking about the negative sides of coffee, do you have anyone in your life that refuses to drink caffeinated drinks? There are, like, I've heard, there, like, some colleagues that they just won't touch coffee, but they drink tea, but tea also has mm -hmm. caffeine. Especially green tea has way more yeah. caffeine in than coffee. But they, I don't know, they have this idea that coffee has more negative effects and that usually they believe tea is, like, you know, this great terrible kind of medicine mm. style. Uh, but they're... The, ca the caffeine actually could be higher mm -hmm. in, in tea, so I don't know what they're on about. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I don't think I have anyone specifically that refuses to drink ca uh, ca caffeinated drinks, mm -hmm. but I sometimes work with young children and they are very adamant that things like chocolate and Coke Zero, because as I mentioned, I'm always with a bottle of Coke Zero. They're very concerned for my, my health because mm -hmm. their parents tell them that caffeine is super bad for them. So many young children in my life are quite concerned mm. about chocolate, Coke, coffee, those kinds of things, uh, but maybe for their benefit because they're so young. So what do you think would happen to you if you drank 20 cups of coffee in one day? Oh my God, well, <laughs> I, not, it, I have experienced something similar, but it wasn't oh. with coffee and it wasn't 20 cups. But I did drink four uh, energy drinks. Oh, no. An and, accident and, or? No, on purpose. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wasn't thinking about it when I was, I was just taking them down. And I did have those jitters. And you feel very oddly awake, but also you cannot focus. And you're just like, ah. I really thought I was, like, going to die. Because I, like, I had never felt that in my body. I, was, I mm. didn't know what was going on. And it was quite scary so yeah now I like the max that I will have will be like two mm. caffeinated drinks if it's like mo like monster energy don't come at me monster just mm. um, but no for like the, the the little maxim cups I'll have four oh yeah decent amount mm. how about yourself 
For me, so in the article it mentioned that uh, coffee lowers the chance of being depressed, but for me, diff kind of a similar side effect, I felt really anxious if mm. I drink too much coffee. I think because maybe your heart rate is faster and just you're too overstimulated with caffeine, it makes me like think that I should be working faster <laughs> and more productive. So that kind of gives me anxiety for a few hours after drinking too much coffee. Mm -hmm. But I think if I drank 20 cups of coffee, there's a, there's a scene in a famous cartoon, Futurama, mm -hmm. where Fry drinks like 100 cups of coffee <laughs> and time slows down around him. He's moving quicker mm. and everyone else around him is like moving super slowly. I think that's the, the feeling that's, that I would that's get. That's gonna happen. Yeah, I'd be like, I would have <laughs> like reached some kind of superpower. I'd be like, let's go. <laughs> let's I can give achieve it a, anything give today. Give it a shot. <laughs> hmm, let's try it out. I also don't think I would sleep for like a week too. Yeah. That's way too much. <laughs> So if you've learned anything today, we hope it's to drink coffee in moderation. If you're on your 10th cup of coffee today, maybe put it down, <laughs> drink some water instead. So take a look over the vocabulary today and we hope that they can help you in the future. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. School of Thought. School of Thought. Put away. Put away. Stimulant. Stimulant. Cardiovascular. Cardiovascular. Pick me up. Pick me up.